and choppers on choppers. Choppers on choppers on choppers on choppers. How are you doing, Sagittarius? Um, this is your reading for September 29th to October 9th. Uh, if you want a personal reading, my Instagram will be... Sorry, what the fuck am I even saying? If you want a, a personal reading, my email will be in the description below. And by the way, Sagittarius, I feel like you have the best intro. You might be wondering what the fuck that is. That's a mosquito, okay? That's a mosquito. That's a... If I slap this shit, my phone will fly off so far. Mm -mm, you don't even fucking know. What the fuck is wrong with you? There is one there, there is one here, what the fuck else? Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, uh, you, uh, you have the best intro. Check out my Instagram. Um, trust me, you have the best intro. I don't even know how the fuck you pulled it off. Anyway, um, I pulled it off anyway. Um, if you, this reading should be able to help you with whatever you're going through. Let's get into your reading. Please, 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 please. Uh, yeah. Uh, dang. Okay, I'm ready. Ah, so you're serious, so you're serious, so you're serious. Uh, two of uh, pentacles, balance. I feel like you are dealing with balance within your life at this time. Uh, since this is mercurially retrograde and uh, this is uh, in a Libra, I really get a sense of uh, that equilibrium is necessary. Necessary. You gotta bring in the work and play aspect in balance, and I'ma slap you motherfuckers off. But you won't die. You won't die. I feel like you have immune to what? Me? Killing your ass? I guess these mosquitoes are becoming indestructible. Sorry about my dick. These mosquitoes are becoming indestructible. You have the ten of cups, so I feel like emotional satisfaction. Uh, however, what the fuck are you fucking? Sorry, they were trying to reproduce. And as soon as they reproduce, they're gonna be the whole family on my leg, the whole family on my arms. And I'm not trying to do that. I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry to kill your mosquitoes. But this is ridiculous. My whole body itches, man. I'm sorry, fam. Yeah, I just had to. Like, bro, like, I'm serious. Like, look at my hands and my feet, man. <laughs> sorry, God. Anyway, um... Uh, I feel like you gotta uh, realize that some situation within your life it's not working out how you thought, and you gotta pull out. You know, with the queen, sorry, uh, with the seven of swords, I feel like something's not going to plan. It's about time you you know just release it, just just, just put it on the side, just go seek something more better. And with the seven of swords, I feel like this person uh, is deciding to take uh, the, fi the, the five swords and leave two swords behind, you know? I feel like when you went into this situation, you were mentally invested in it. However, when you got into it, it just was kind of disappointing, you know? Oh my goodness, how many more squiddles do I gotta kill? Like, bro, are you serious? At this point, it's just like, the festival? I tried my best, man, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, I feel like uh, as this person took Seven of Swords, you know, it's kind of like you came into a situation bringing in a lot, and you coming out, you know, carrying some, you know, just carrying the Five Swords and leaving Two Swords behind. And as you uh, have those Five Swords, it also leads to the Five of Swords. I feel like, yeah, this is kind of like, it's a story, you know. I feel like you're a part of the story. Your whole life is kind of a story, you know. A uh, story to be told. Uh, I feel like I don't know who you're going to be, but your story is going to be quite amazing. I just feel like you need to really balance your aspect of your life, your work and play time. Um, you might be doing that recently. You might be into it. Um, on the ten of uh, cups, I feel like emotional satisfaction uh, with your family, friends, with those around you, uh, with those who you might be invested in. However, I just feel like there is there is uh, an energy of you deciding to leave something behind. You know, it could be an exhausting situation. Uh, it could be with the five of swords. I really feel like m mental mental behaviors or just even beliefs. I feel like uh, how you've been going by things. Uh, with the five of swords, uh, get an energy of uh, people who you thought they were with you. Uh, they're turning their backs onto you. Some people are not as strong as you. However, you're just having that determination to just keep on moving forward. It's kind of like them, you know. I thought your way are really as strong as me or just your way are as really inspired as the, as um, 
it has uh, really just driven as me but I'm the one who's keeping things moving forward you know it's kind of like as much as you can try to you know get people moving forward I feel like uh, they, they just they are themselves and at the end of the day they um they'll be them you know uh with the eight of swords i feel like you, you have your fears about ongoing situation rather it's becoming more committal you might be dealing with a tourist you might be coming to a time where you are committed uh it might be uh you might be dealing with somebody who wants commitment and uh, i feel like maybe you don't uh i feel like maybe you 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 have your fears and paranoia about this situation and with the seven of swords i see you bucking out however uh, as you have your fears i really feel like there's a situation around you as well uh, that's quite promising that's quite promising you might you might be you might be coming out of a situation because things didn't go to plan and you are moving towards the situation which you have your fears about but this situation is kind of of a long term long term as that i say that the 10 of uh the 10 of uh cups comes out i uh, just uh just that's a celebratory energy that fulfillment within yourself just knowing that you did something you you uh, achieved something or just you got somewhere something um You have the five of swords again. I really feel like you're walking away with a victory. Strongly at this time, you're strongly walking away with a victory. And with the nine of wands, you see how much I'm scratching? It's mosquitoes, man. Jesus Christ. Like, damn. Do I look like a Mr. Cool? Is it Mr. Cool Aid? Oh, kids. I really feel like Mr. Cool Aid would have been a, a good kidnapper. <laughs> That's really bad. Oh. Who wants some Kool-Aid? <laughs> Kool-Aid, man. Ah, bad jokes will always get you in trouble. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ruin your childhood. Um, uh, with It's just like saying like a, cr a clown at McDonald's was um, actually like... Yeah, you already know. Like, is there something new? But uh, Anyway, what am I even saying? Uh, man, I've been going on a rant for so long. Ah, uh, man. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes. <sighs> Let me just try to get through this. With the Five of Swords, um, don't you dare. With the Five of Swords, I feel like, yeah, you're having to walk with a victory. Yeah, you have your barriers up towards somebody or just uh, uh, around somebody. You have your, um, you just, you're having your, you're just putting up barriers and boundaries. And you're holding your truth, you know. If you have to walk away, you're walking away to a situation where you feel quite, uh, like you have something to provide, something to offer. Rather than you being in a situation where people can't keep up with you and people are not on the same page as you. You know, it's just like, it doesn't take much to keep up with you. you just like it, everybody might be carrying one soul each and you're carrying three souls you're having so much to deal with and it's just like some people can't keep up with you okay so i feel like okay cool uh, i'm walking over the victory and uh yeah it's just like now you're putting up barriers you just um just holding what you have to say not saying much uh i just feel like you're holding your wisdom and knowledge to yourself you're keeping things to yourself however you feel you know you're not trying to cause any fights any ruckus um with the seven of uh, wands i feel like uh you admitting defeat in a situation you're admitting defeat in this connection and uh, with that man fuck with the nine of wands uh, sorry with the nine of swords i feel like you might be going through um you might be going through or coming out of uh a hard time, a hard rough patch of time. I really want to see this. Uh, nine of Swords, uh, Nine of Swords. Uh, you might be with a, yeah, you get the Nine of Swords and the Hierophant. I feel like you're putting up barriers or just you, you're waiting for something to come to fruition. And um, I just want to see Nine of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords, uh, fears, uh, wake up and face your nightmares. If you are caused by, if they are caused by guilt or remorse, think of what you can do to give red redless re redress or to give redress what the fuck is that even mean this is why i can't read this shit it's because it's not coming from within it's just something put together you know it's just like damn you know they have their own meaning but damn what the fuck does this really mean i feel like more of uh, anything rather than you having your fears and just staying in your head i feel like just take action and the action you're gonna take is gonna take you to that connection that i told you feels promising there's a connection here that's quite loyal somebody who's loyal and trustful trustworthy 
they might not say much they might not express much but they're presenting you with options or just uh you're being presented with options right now i just feel like there's one connection that's quite promising that's quite interesting to really be a part of that's quite uh entertaining by itself uh and i feel like with the page of swords i feel like you might be holding your truth you might be dealing with a leo uh, or a taurus um uh, I, I get an energy the universe is giving you a push to move forward uh, with the six of swords I feel like you're still stuck in a situation uh, with the page of cups I feel like you you were learning about a connection or you, you're learning about yourself emotionally uh, you, you're still dealing with the emotions I feel like you, you're not the the um, the person to rush things. I feel like you take things one step at a time. You're not trying to make any mistakes. Yeah, with the page of pentacles, you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, I feel like as you learn this, um, I just feel I said you might be also dealing with a Cancer. Uh, with the six of uh, swords, I feel like you might be uh, held back within a connection, within a situation. With the three of cups, I feel like you might be living a third party situation. Uh, with the six of swords, I feel like you are mentally put in a situation where you feel stuck, or just you feel stuck. And that with the Knight of Swords, I feel like that's where you might be. You feel stuck. Get away from me, bro. I swear. And you don't, don't. With this Five of Wands uh, uh, in reverse, this argument might get ugly. Yeah, whatever argument that's going on around, it might get really quite ugly. And you, with the Hermit card, you're being advised to uh, think about things before you uh, decide to move on forward. With the Hermit card, you might be dealing with also a Virgo. You might be dealing with a Virgo. With a Virgo. With a Virgo. Ah, <sighs> anyway. I just see you having your, your, uh, you feeling down about situation being bad. You know, you, and you, I feel like there's an, uh, a new uh, career, just a new opportunity to uh, bring in your finances and new ways to make money. I just feel like it's going to take you from that place of you um, feeling like you in a financial uh, hole, the financial deficit. Did you did you hear that the government might be shutting down? With the lovers, I feel like this is going to be something you enjoy, something you love. Sorry, if you enjoy the shutdown, I feel like good luck to you. I mean, everybody does. However, with the, the lovers, I really feel like uh, with the lovers, you might be dealing also with a Gemini. I feel like you might be you might be dealing with somebody who does what you you love to do. Uh, you might be dealing with somebody who enjoys to do who in the same field as you. Uh, you might be dealing with somebody who um, is driven as much as you. This might be new love, new relationships coming in or just starting out. Um, King of Wands, just stand for your beliefs and try to think about things. But there are so many mosquitoes, I can't kill all of them, I swear. I just try and try and then I just can't. Anyway, I feel like, man, I can't, I can't sell you guys show. I've been giving other people like 30 minutes readings and if I give you guys like 12, I feel like that's unfair to you. And regardless of how bad these mosquitoes are acting ridiculous, I just feel like they're ridiculous. Anyway, with the Queen of Swords, I feel like um, let others add on to your knowledge, you know, some people might be providing you opportunities, but if you put yourself into I know it all, you know, I don't feel like it's going to be as promising as it is. I just feel like if you put yourself in that position of I'm willing to learn more, I feel like it's going to uh, create more opportunities. This might be an opportunity or just a career that needs you to take things one step at a time, take it easy, don't rush things, you might be uh, learning or just taking the slow steps, uh, trying to really... Um, make the best or, or the most out of a situation i told you if i kill all the mosquitoes they're not gonna die it's just you can try and try and this shit won't you're tired you're tired and you mosquitoes are ridiculous anyway <sighs> anyway yeah with the five of pens because i feel like you might be in some financial um hardships hard times you might be in some financial uh, low tides, I want to say. I just feel like people are seeing you as a star. You know, uh, regardless of uh, whether you go through... Remember when I told you your life might be a story? Not everybody's life is a... People's life is not a story because things went good. People's life is a story because they had the ups and downs, the left and right. And I feel like your story is interesting because of what you went through. You're, go, you, you're dealing with a lover, uh, somebody who's coming to take you out of that financial hardship. Yeah, as, as soon as I say that, it goes from the five of so 
sorry, five of pentacles to the six of pentacles. It's kind of like there is this conflict around this situation, this connection. Uh, you and your lover or your loved one. I just feel like there's conflict here. But something got to end. Something got to end. Something got to transform. There might be a love here that somebody's offering you a cup. Uh, somebody might be really, um, you might be seeing somebody as a star or just they see you as a star. With the high priestess, your intuition is guiding you to a place or a position that you're going to be feeling uh, emotionally satisfied, emotionally emotionally having no doubts or troubles uh with the um, with the death card i feel like something is transforming within your life you know and um with the lovers i feel like you might be dealing with somebody you have passion about interest uh, i feel like you might be dealing with uh, somebody who might have caused you pain It's going back to the Five of Cups. I'm going to put that shit in there. I don't know why it's coming up more often than usual in your reading. Just you realizing that, you know, some things within your life can't keep up. Uh, some things within your life, just you can't keep everything. You have what you need, not what you want. And... It But things are starting to move forward, you know. Yeah, I feel like you might be doing something you love, something you enjoy. On a bigger scale, on a larger scale, that's bringing you in that uh, full energy. Uh, that newborn energy, that innocent, that, that energy of, uh, okay, I'm, I'm excited to uh, be ambitious and carry on the world. I just feel like uh, with, the, with the full, uh, the three of swords comes into as well. I feel like as you, um, as you do this, I feel like there's a sense of, pain and heartbreak you know you might be experiencing uh, as you proceed you know uh, just uh, an energy uh, an energy of a heartbreak you might be feeling with the six of swords i feel like you, you're moving on for the better you're moving on in the future uh, you're moving to better things Be honest with yourself how you feel. Be honest with yourself how you project yourself to others. You might be dealing with a cancer, a uh, chariot, I feel like. Um, with a chariot, I feel like. As you, you are going through life, I feel like uh, you're going to be, you can carry more. I feel like you're gonna, you, you need to have that strong courage to move forward. That desire to just keep the ball rolling, just to, to keep things going. Uh, if, it's kind of like don't leave anything behind. If you have any talents in any aspect of your life, keep, keep things going forward. With the Four of Swords, trying to get some rest, trying to relax, trying to take a break. Um, <sighs> Balance. Your work and play time. Ten of Swords, Knight of Cups. You might be uh, being held held back with something you enjoy to do, love to do. Uh, you're being held back with the King of uh, Wands. I really get a sense of um, yo your beliefs. You're standing by them. Your path. You're standing by it. And you're not you're not letting anybody pull you down. With the seven of wands, I feel like you 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 just standing for your beliefs uh, mostly. Whatever you feel, it's, it's inspiring you. There might be a toxic relationship around you, 
and uh, as many options as there are around you, I feel like that's uh, one of them. You might be also dealing with a Capricorn uh, who's holding uh, what they feel uh, about you inside, what they uh, feel or think about you. Uh, you might be uh, with the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. You might be dealing with two people, one who is financially successful and one who's emotionally invested or just holding back what they feel. It might be the same person, it might be you. Uh, I just feel like uh, letting others help you, let, uh, letting others inspire you. Uh, with the Queen of um, Queen of uh, Pentacles, I just feel a sense of um, might be somebody. Uh, I just feel like there might be somebody who has a feminine energy. Normally, these readings are not gender specific, but there might be uh, a, a somebody who has a feminine energy around them. They don't have to be fem female, but they might be having this feminine energy of uh, you know they hold what they have and they they not only take care of themselves, they take care of others. And I really feel like they might be offering you a cup of love. It's just like you are not taking any action towards that cup of love. And that's causing um, a transformation within your life. With, with the Page of Swords, I really feel like uh, there's a transformation that's taking place, you know. And you're holding your truth within a situation. And uh, you're going after building a foundation of the future for yourself. Taking control of your life, for your life. And um, with the Three of Cups celebrating and uh, having that... Um, of fulfillment with friends, family, those around you, and with the night of uh, with the nine of cups, I feel like uh, you sitting in your power, feeling um, um, uh, feeling um, comfortable with who you are or what you got, and with the nine of pentacles, feeling uh, a sense of um, uh, emotional and financial independence. Uh, page of Pentacles, I feel like you are also learning a skill or just uh, improving your knowledge on uh, what you're already doing or just what you already have and you're going to be coming to a crossroads of uh, what path you might be needing to take. Is there anything to the needs to know? With the Emperor and the Three of Cups, I feel like you're going through a time of, like I said, you taking charge of your life. With the Three of Cups, strongly, um, those around you, I feel like there, there is quite some parting going on, some happiness, just enjoying of the moment, living in the moment. It's just that there's an energy of looking back at what you lost and it feels bad, you know. You might have lost something you love, something you enjoy, something you, you want to hold on to. Uh, with the Queen, also with the Page of Cups, Page of Wands, there might be verbal communication that needs to take place. So, mm, verbal communication that needs to take place. Uh, messaging, uh, sorry, there might be some messages coming in, blessings coming in for you. And uh, they're going to find you back uh, with the King of Swords in terms of uh, you being defensive and uh, holding your guard. Or just your stand and not letting anybody in. However, you have a taste of what you like or just what you're looking after. And those who are going to let in, they're going to be uh, worth uh, letting everybody in. I gotta, I gotta go out of here. You know, these mosquitoes are ridiculous. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. And um, yeah, um, if you want a personal reading, my email is in the description below. Uh, please check out your intro. It's quite amazing. And I uh, really hope you enjoy it. And uh, have a nice one. Uh, Sagittarius. Yeah. Yeah, have a nice one. Bye.